Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. Well today I went out with Molly and I had to go to the post office and I mailed the package for our winner from Tuesday. And lo and behold I had a package. So let's get to this. I just love that plastic stuff. It's so easy. Now, let me look. Um, I was contacted by a man um, from Paint Some Way, and that's all lowercase. P A I N T S O M E W A Y dot com. And they have, he invited me to try out a couple of the products. And so this is what I ordered. And they have cross stitch kits, uh, you know, pre stamped. They don't have any counted, I don't believe. Um, they do have diamond painting, and they have large diamond paintings, and they also have some of the larger um, cross stitch pre stamp cross stitch so I didn't find I found one um, I'm on the, the edge don't know we'll see how well this goes and we'll start from there so we'll go with this one first and it is a joy Sunday kit and it's called this scarlet macaw I just thought it was pretty he had lots of beautiful colors Comes real nicely kitted up. You know how uh, Joy Sunday is. Let me pull everything kind of out a little bit at a time. This one's not very big. It is 21 by 75. And you know I like to try out small and a big so that I know, you know, what their quality is and that kind of thing. Comes with a nice um, booklet here real large nice and easy to read and this kit in particular has 36 colors and it is 64 wide by 282 but nice pattern and let's see what else is here We've got a canvas it's nice and bright cotton threads yay because you know those are my faves but yeah, and it comes with two needles, like Joy Sunday always comes. And everything is nicely put on the the thing. On the I don't know what you call this. Thread organizer, if you will. They're all stapled together. Look at those bright, beautiful colors. Aren't they just gorgeous? Now this does have back stitching. And I'll show you that in a minute when I get to the canvas. But lovely, lovely, bright, vivid colors. They feel real nice and real soft. Let me turn it over here so you can see the other color. Look at them. They're just beautiful, beautiful colors. Right, let me get this out of the package here. I am very pleased with these. But there is the full picture. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all those flowers. And there's maybe some bamboo running up here like poles and stuff but then there's trees it's just gorgeous I just thought it was beautiful and it is an 11 count so according to that I would use three strands but yeah I'm just in love with all them colors just in love with them there's even some blue per blue violet and some uh, dark turquoise if you will maybe a lighter turquoise in there and some oranges and yellows just what you would expect from a macaw. Okay, let me just fold those up so they don't get all messed up. Oop, gotta go this way. This is the top. Nice, easy to read symbols, which is really good. It has a grid running across the top and down. It's kind of long and skinny. And it does have... Um, 
your key, which is very tiny, I would use the key, you know, on the other part, because this is really small. You can still see the symbols. You just can't tell what the number is, so if you look on the thing, it'll tell you what the DMC number is. And it has, let's see, gotta look. Got to look. It has back stitch, three quarter stitch, and full stitch in it. Just absolutely stunning. And you can see all the back stitching that has to be done. So there's a fair amount of back stitching. So that's kind of cool. Never did it quite like that. And I've never stitched anything that had a three quarter stitch. I don't know. Maybe it has to round off certain things like the flowers or something. So we'll see. It'll be different, but never had one that involved. But just nice, bright symbols, clear. You can read this. I mean, it takes a hot moment, but you know. And it lists the, the back stitch which is this kind of line, and then it also has half stitch thing here. So, I don't think I've done much three-quarter stitching. So, I'm trying to see, let me see if I find any three-quarter stitches. Oh, here we go. It's a little difficult to see, but right there see how the head is it's trying to round it off so not too many but I think it'll be a beautiful pattern I really do it's gorgeous then I got one that is 73 by 73 okay they'll be wrinkling so mute it if you need to trying to get it off of here. No, maybe it's 60 by 60. I'm sorry. Because this is an 11 count. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to need a bag for this one. Hang on. I'm still fighting. Whoops. Shoot. Hang on. I dropped something. Okay, there's your extra thread with that one. And I'll show you the picture. I think they're two Phoenix. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all that yellow. But yeah, I'm sure it is 11 count. Yeah. Just gorgeous. So that makes it 60 by 60. So that's about the same size as my Phoenix. My other Phoenix. Just gorgeous. Comes with a beautiful booklet. And it's also broke down. Oops, I keep wanting to turn it upside down. Broke into parts. Just a beautiful kit. It has, let me make sure that I'm right. Uh, looks like 22 colors. Not a lot of colors, but isn't that gorgeous? It looks so antique. Also comes with a nice page. So did the, the Joy Sunday also had you know, instructions on how to stitch, what to do, and um, what to do afterwards. So, those things are nice. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Going to have to get a bigger frame because that looks like 6x6. Six six. Could be a 5x5. Five five. I don't see. Oh. Molly Hush. Yeah, we've been out and about today. So, that's about a 5-inch picture. So, I'll have to get some 5-inch frames. But isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. And it looks so antique. Mm. I don't know what that was. Okay. So, whoops. Oh, oh, it has a little kit. Comes with three needles in here. Plus one of those ring, what do you call it? Thimbles. A little poof ball to put your, your needle in, I'm assuming. Or to sharpen the needle. I don't know exactly what that's for, and it also has a needle threader here, so that's nice. And this, like I said, is your excess color. 
and this is cotton. <coughs> Let me hang it just a second. And, yep, there are 22 colors. Bright and vivid. And I did look on their site to see if they had any more of those ones like the spring one, the china one. But look at all those beautiful, beautiful colors. Hmm. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. And they're nice and long, so they're really easy to get off. I like that part, too. There's no other needles on this. But that's kind of a signature thing for uh, Joy Sunday, where they have the needles up in a plastic bag on the, the deal. Okay, let's see what the canvas looks like. If I can get it open. Oh, yeah, it's not too big. But it is going to be lovely. Okay, there are, or there is, there's one extra needle right here. I might have dropped it when I took it out, but you have three that it came with. This background here is not done. You just stitch what's in this circle. But it does have, you know, some colors. Yeah has a beautiful key right down here on the bottom nice and clear and crisp you can see that I'm very well pleased with this company I really am and you know what products they do have I know that it's this is not the company you know a different company made these like just like they make a different company which is Joy Sunday made theirs so this is what they carry and I'm glad that they carry such high quality things so, yeah. Ooh, I like this. Like it, I love it. But you'll have to fill in all the, the blue and this goldy color. That's your background. So, uh, number eight is 741 and orange is 972. So, that's probably what these two colors are. Does it say? It says yes. Number 19 on that one. And I don't try not to rattle it. And number 8, isn't that what I said? Yes, number 8. So these are the, the yellow and golds. It almost looks like, a, what do you call it? It's really kind of shiny. I know it's shiny because it's in this package, but the thread looks shiny, but it's not. Whoops. Where did it go? Where did it go? But it's cotton. It is. And it says, hang on, I folded that all up. Let me shake it out again. It says, oh no, it didn't say on there. But it might say over here, somewhere, if I can get to the, any kind of English. I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. Threads. Not seeing any other writing, but it has a nice broke down pattern. Just lovely. Big, easy to read. So yeah, I am really pleased with this. And there's all your your symbols. And number one. Okay, these symbols are only the symbols for this this booklet. But you know, for the symbols that are on the canvas, you have to go to the ones that are on the bottom of the canvas. But you can still look it up. I mean, if you had to look up and see what different things. But, yeah, it looks like an antique painting. It's just beautiful. So I hope it turns out as beautiful as it looks. I really, really, really do. Because it'll be gorgeous. But I have another picture here that I can put somewhere. So, I will get back to you and we'll start this one. Alright? Be right back. Okay, I am back. Oh, it has been a morning. Well, I went to the dollar store this morning took Molly 
And we went someplace else. Oh, and then I went to the post office. Came back home. And I realized once I got to the post office that I didn't have... Oh, this is number 972. I got three I have three strands here I didn't have my phone with me so I had to run home so I dropped off Molly because it was starting to get a little warm and she don't do so hot in warm weather she I, I just don't take her out when it's scalding hot so I mean it was only about 65 out there but I probably could have taken her but I had to go run back to the store so yeah so I went and dropped her off and came back and mailed off the package and it's been special. Then I went to the grocery store and got a few things and I went and had my first round of the COVID shot. So yay, we're getting there sooner or later, but I wanted to be able to get it when I had four days off, you know, right in a row, just in case, never know. I think this, you know, treats everybody differently. So, so far, so good. My arm doesn't hurt. So, yet. We'll say yet. And yesterday, I placed three orders. Oh, yeah. I was a busy girl. I ordered two pre-stamped from Amazon and, no four so that was two separate orders and I ordered some more bags that I put projects in like to have those around and what else oh then I made a great big order to um, everyday e-crafts so that'll be probably a couple weeks now. The, the Amazon stuff said it was going to get here. Hopefully you can see what I'm stitching on. I'm trying to get it up and out of the way. Um, good gravy. Come here. I don't know how long it'll take on everyday e-crafts. I would say a good two, two and a half weeks. You know, this last batch was waylaid, I think, somewhere. I don't know what was wrong with it. Did I tell you this was an 11 count? I'm trying to keep my, my wits about me here. But, yeah, I would buy from this store again. These two kits, there is nothing wrong with them. They are beautiful. Just gorgeous coloring. Nice, clear, printed canvases. Good products. And they also have a, a section on their their site. I will put their, what do you call it, website in the description down below. Um, they have a section where they have, oh, what do you call it, sculptures, if you will. Now, I don't know what they're made of. You know, I don't know if that's a hard plastic, you know, the heavy-duty hard plastic. I've gotten some really nice stuff from the dollar store. So, you know, but they have that also. They also have custom diamond painting. And let's see, what else did they have? Um, they had um, some accessories for either diamond painting or embroidery or, you know, cross-stitch. I mean, I count that all as embroidery because they sell hoops and they sell, what do you call it, bobbins to put your thread on, all different kinds. I mean, as far as the little ones to up to the ones that were the long ones, just like I got with these kits. And then there's the other kind. I don't know that they have that one in particular, but, you know, the kind that kind of scoops down, you know, and I don't know how it's all attached because I've never seen one of those in person and it was kind of long so that's why I never bought one you know and kind and hard like in hard plastic so yeah so they have all kinds of stuff there but I mean they don't have they just have 
crafty things. Let's put it that way. I didn't know how else to put it. So that's good. But yeah, I would order from them again. They have gobs and gobs of stuff. They even have large diamond paintings up, you know, into 110, 120 and above, I think. And they also have like 26 pages of over, I think it said over 65 centimeters. So anything above that, they have those too. They don't just carry small ones. And I don't know what their shipping's like. They do have, um, you can get a discount sometimes, you know, if you buy so much or product or whatever. And uh, now I got a real good deal when I went to um, Everyday E-Crafts. Uh, you know, I mean, I've just been putting it off and putting it off. Well, they actually had a thing where you could buy... And I'm sure this one does this too. Uh, I think it was like buy three, get one free, something like that. Um, so that was good. So I got a couple free ones, you know, because I I think I ordered 16 cross-stitch kits. Yeah. Don't mind my nails. They really need to be done. I had to go get, that was why I went to the dollar store too. Let's get nail polish remover because like I had two tablespoons and that was not going to cut it to get this off so yeah fun times it was just one of those days where I needed a bunch of extra curricular things you know sometimes you just go and get laundry soap or whatever but it seems like I was out of all different kinds of stuff so but yeah so, sometimes, you know, with these companies like Everyday Craft, Digital Art, or Do-It-Yourself, or DIY Digital Art, and this Paint, paint Some Way, um, I'm sure they have deals on all different kinds of cross-stitch and diamond painting stuff, you know, so... And I wasn't about the diamond painting. I'm about the stitching right now. So, oh, I did see a large, beautiful diamond or diamond painting. I'd kind of like to have, but mm, no, uh, no, uh, I I can't go backwards. I like my stitching, and the problem with the diamond painting is that I can only sit at the table and do it. And you've heard about how that feels on my back. Mm, not happening. So it's just as easy to do the, the cross stitch. And this isn't really big, you know, huge, gigantic. It's not like the spring one. I can't find any more. I've looked all over. I went back to uh, DIY uh, Digital Art to see if they even had any others. And I didn't go through all 250 pages. But, yeah. So I'll have to sit down and and see if there is. But I couldn't find any right off the bat. I went to AliExpress. I went to Amazon. No. Couldn't find one. But there is one great big one that I want from this company. And it's huge. I think it's might be 120, 90 by 120, something like that. It's beautiful. It's got blue flowers and then it's got a white-ish background. It's supposed to be water because there's like koi swimming in there oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah like that one too and I noticed between the three of them that uh, the three different you know DIY everyday e-crafts and this one they have a lot of the Peking opera uh, cross stitches they are just so beautiful and such beautiful colors. So I just love them too. And I don't think they're too extremely big. You know, they, it might be as big as this one. You know, maybe even smaller. You know, I'm kind of guessing a little bit smaller, but the detail is just exquisite. Just exquisite. So, yeah. I like it when I can see the pattern and know what I'm stitching and where I'm stitching. So, yeah.
so other than that, that is about all we've been up to today. I thought I'd get all my running around done today so that, you know, if I have any thing going on with this shot, then I'll be free and clear. I even bought fried chicken so we can have that today or tomorrow. And I bought stuff to make sandwich bread. Do y'all know what sandwich bread is? Now, back when I lived in the Midwest when I was little, we had sandwich spread. Love some sandwich spread. Oh, my goodness. But it's got bologna. Now, I've seen it made with ham. Bologna, ground up, and what do you call it? I almost said deviled eggs. Uh, Hard-boiled eggs and pickle relish. And then you put it together however you want, either with, uh, what do you call it? Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, whichever is your preference. So, yeah, beautiful. Love it. So I'm going to make me some sandwich bread. I figured I could have it for lunches. And I've even, I usually sometimes get, usually sometimes, I do like that. Is that two like adjectives right next to each other? Uh, or whatever the word is. Not real clear. Oh, for pity's sake. I lost my whole thread. Um, make enough, like a double batch. And I froze it. I know. My mother, the whole time I was at home, we ate it. You know. My dad really wasn't crazy about it, but my mom and my grandmother and my sister and I, we'd eat it. We loved it. And uh, ate it right up. But um, sometimes I'll just make... Um, a double batch of it and freeze it and it freezes great I was shocked because I said to my mom I'm like I made too much I, I made I used the what do you call it the thick pack of bologna and um yeah I that was a lot of meat and I used about six eggs in it about half a thing of pickle relish, but I had enough to put in two quart size um, Ziploc bags, and uh, yeah, so freeze it. It'll freeze, even, and I wouldn't freeze it without putting the mayonnaise on it, just or the mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, whichever you use. Now I have seen people, like I said, use ham and they just grind up the ham, so they call a ham salad. But we used to just either put it on saltines or, what do you call it, club crackers, or we just made a sandwich out of it. So, pretty cool. I crinkled this a little bit just so that I could get it in my hands to hold. It keeps wanting to go away. It's spread out over my desk and it keeps running into something. So we're we're getting it though. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it today. Sorry this was so late, but I was busy running around and doing stuff that needed to be done. And I'm glad I got these. Very nice. Very nice. I will be making an order from them soon as well. I want to check out, you know, some of the smaller kits. And, you know, I like to stay within. I mean, it depends on the picture, too. This is a perfect size for this because you can see all the all the details but when you get into landscape I like to get them a little bit bigger but the quality is very nice I love it I'm giving this a positive review and I will be ordering from them as well so hang in there I'm using my stork scissors today. These are my Walmart special scissors. I mean, for five bucks, these things are heavy. 
You would think they'd be lightweight, but they're right up there with my Fiskars. I paid, what, two, three dollars for them? Probably, oh, maybe even more than ten years ago. And I'm still using them. They still got the same edge on it. And I do have a, what do you call it? A little scissor sharp sharpener. It's here somewhere. I'm not going to pull it out. But yeah. Alright guys, I think I'm going to work on this today. Because I can watch TV and do this. Well, I'm not watching TV. I'm trying to finish uh, chocolate. Yeah, love it. So there is the picture again. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those flowers. and Just everything about it looks ancient. I mean, it looks like it came from the, um, is it the Quan Di Dynasty? The first one? And his colors were yellow like his robe. I, I think it's Quan. Or Yan. I'm not real sure, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. All, especially all these colors. They're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Looking at all my antique stuff. So hopefully it'll turn out looking 95% like that. I know. It'll be a hot moment. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be careful this weekend. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.